guys welcome back to another video if this is your first time watching welcome 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 my name is Anastasia so happy to have you and if you're a returning subscriber if you are a part of the family hey girl hey y'all know we getting our stuff together over here and when I say we getting our stuff together I mean physically mentally emotionally spiritually all the things <laughs> we are on a journey of just self-development and bettering ourselves on my channel and I'm just basically taking y'all along with me. Um, a lot of us as women have a lot in common. I feel like we go through the same or similar things, just different seasons. Um, so I'm just sharing my, my journey and my different seasons. And so welcome. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, girl. Join the family. Um, we'll be so happy to have you. So it is Sunday, guys. It is Sunday and I am out of church, home. I've showered. Um, I also went to the store today, so I was going to show y'all some of the items I got at the store. Not so much as the groceries, because I'm going to kind of vlog me organizing my stuff. So I was like, I don't want to tell them and show them what I got and then show them what I got as I'm putting the stuff up. So I'm just going to kind of show y'all as I put it up. I had to go to um, Walmart and Aldi's. Aldi's to get groceries. Then Walmart, I had to go to grab AJ school supplies, y'all, because as y'all know, school started back. I don't know how y'all schools do it where your kids are, but my child's school, we don't get a list until he gets to school and gets to class. Like he went back to school Wednesday. We didn't get the list to Friday. So finally got the list, went and grabbed the stuff he needed, which was very, very minimal. His list was so small. I was like, AJ, are you sure this is all you need? I even tried to pick up a couple extra items because I'm like, this can't be all of his list. But he was like, mom, this is all I need. So got him some notebooks. All he needed was notebooks. Like I can literally remember it, y'all. That's how small his list was. He needed notebooks, um, a binder. They didn't even have notebook paper listed. So I grabbed him some notebook paper. Because if you have a binder, you're going to need notebook paper to put in your binder. So I purchased him some notebook paper. Um, I got him some pencils. I was like, do you want the mechanical pencils? Do you want the number two? He was like, I just want the number two regular pencils. I was like, okay. I'm like, do you need ink pens? He was like, no. I was like, okay. He needed a business management notebook. So I got that and that was pretty much it. And then I also purchased me y'all this lap desk. I had been saying I was going to purchase like a bed desk. Cause sometimes y'all know I work from home. And sometimes I be wanting to work from bed, and I do. And I have like this whole little ghetto setup that I do to work from bed. Um, but I never bought the bed desk. But I'm glad I bought the lap desk because when I'm editing, I, I literally edit in different areas of the house. It just depends on the day and how I'm feeling. So sometimes I might edit in bed. Sometimes I might edit in my office. Sometimes I might edit in the guest room, um, the den, just depending on what I'm feeling, you know, in that moment. So... My husband has seen this. Now, I kind of have a, <laughs> I, there was a pink one, right? Pink is my favorite color. There was a pink one. So originally I picked up the pink one, then I put it back. I was like, maybe I should just do black. But I low key wish I would've got the pink one, but we were trying to get out of Walmart because it was crazy and I didn't want to get to the register and then be like, babe, I think I'm gonna go back and get the pink one because he would've been like, girl, like seriously. So, I haven't opened this yet because <laughs> I normally would have already opened this and wiped, wiped it down because I'm going to wipe this down before I put it on my lap in my bed. But I'm like, do I want to exchange it and get the pink one? The pink was really pretty. It was like the color I have on, but I don't know. I might just keep the black one. Y'all know I like black too. So I just got this little lap desk. It's so cute. Um, and it has like the little compartments. Like I think that's for like pens and stuff. I think that's like for pens and stuff right here, y'all. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna assume it's for like pencils and pens or whatever. So I'm excited about that, y'all. It was only $15. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Church was absolutely amazing. We're gonna definitely talk about it because y'all know I always like to share what I learn. Um, just in case anybody else wanna catch that word or catch that message, I always look forward to my pastor's teachings because like I always tell y'all he's a true teacher he breaks it down where I can understand it and that's something I would highly encourage to anybody any believers that's looking for a church home and I think I've said this before but the church how I look at it is a church home is a church home we go there to to learn about God 
Um, but I feel like nowadays it's so hard to find a church home because people can be judgmental or make you uncomfortable or they don't walk in what they should as a church community. So it makes it hard for you to choose a church home. I just highly recommend if you're looking for a church home, just make sure you find someone that you truly learn from, that you learn from, because I try to make it, I be intentional about not making my pastor a God. Like I highly respect my pastor. He is very, very, um, he's called for what he's doing. I highly, I stand 10 toes behind that. He's definitely called to be a pastor. He is awesome. Um, and his teaching is phenomenal. And I've been to churches where I've went and I just did not learn or I just did not grasp how the pastor would deliver the word. Church was absolutely amazing. Left there, like I told you, I went to the stores and now I'm home. And today is going to be like a Sunday reset. This is going to be a daily vlog. Um... <laughs> It's going to be a daily vlog, y'all. I attempted to make this a weekend vlog, but it just it didn't work in my favor. Like, I had so much going on this weekend. AJ is turning 16 on the 16th of August, which is this week coming up. Me and Tony will be having him a um, 16th birthday party on Saturday. So this weekend, that's pretty much what I did. I had to make sure I had my little everything needed for his party. And I went Saturday. Me, my mom, and my aunt met up at my aunt's house to just go through everything, all the packages and stuff I had got. And to just kind of put everything in place to have a visual of how the setup is going to look. Because, you know, the day of, you're kind of limited in time for with venues. They include your window of setup and breakdown in your party time. So I'm like, we got to have a good concept or a good um, visual as to how this is going to be laid out. Because, baby, listen, he made it very clear. In and out. You got the time slot you got, which is an eight-hour window. But like I said, when you're setting up these things, like, and y'all know I do events and stuff, like not as a job, but I have like hosted events and stuff. And I just know the time and how things can go wrong. And you just, time really don't be on your side with that. So that's what we did Saturday. And I was originally going to vlog all of that, but it was just like, I don't know. I just didn't vlog. Me and my mama auntie got to just laughing, cutting up, talking about things and just, you know, I was just in a moment with my family. So I didn't vlog it. Um, but I did get a clip, uh, Friday. I, cause I started the vlog originally on Friday, y'all. It was going to be a weekend vlog as I stated. So I started the vlog on Friday, y'all. And I am going to insert a, the clip from AJ going to school and me sharing how I felt, um, as he stepped into this new chapter as a junior, he's in 11th grade. And he, like I said, will be turning 16 and I was just kind of in my feels Friday and I vlogged it and I showed y'all him going to school and stuff. So I'm going to stop talking now and insert that clip here because I was like, I'm not going to let this go to waste. Like it was just too precious. And I, I love capturing those moments because YouTube, you're like documenting your life. So that's a video we'll, we'll be able to look back on when he's like 21, 22. And it's like, you remember this day when you were going to school? You're like, which the Friday was his second full day they did a two hour day wednesday but still it was just it was just like so precious to me and um i was in my emotions a little bit friday y'all ain't gonna hold y'all i was in my in my in my feels i'm like he's closer to going to college he's gonna be operating a vehicle like help <laughs> like help me I, my baby is growing up too fast so um i'm gonna insert that clip right now and then we'll come back and get our Sunday reset cleaning slash all the things done. Morning, Jizzle. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Is that the no camera time right now, Face? I don't know. I was going to get three, two, one. Oh. All right, let's redo it. Three, two, one. Good morning, Jizzle. Good morning, Mom. How are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm good. First, well, not first day. This is what, third day of school? Yeah, he second started day. Wednesday. He did a two hour day Wednesday, and then today is the second full day. So he started Wednesday. So three days as a junior. How you feeling? I feel good. You excited? What you looking forward to? Coming back home. <laughs> this is AJ's backpack. Where'd you get this from, AJ? Nike. Nike. So nice. This thing is huge. And this is considered extra large. This is pretty dope. And it's got all these different compartments and pockets. Check the water bottle. You gonna show me a water bottle? He upgraded. So we go upstairs. A Walmart water bottle. I like it though. I like it too. It says cold for 50 hours, hot for 10. Oh 
He upgraded from the disposable water bottles and got him a real water bottle. And I'm not mad at that. Save me some coins. Mm -hmm. This no sense. All these come, all these pockets still can't find the place to put them. Now I feel you on that because you're trying to avoid getting them smushed. Maybe just put them on the inside, Aria. That's a good spot. Nice. I think this will be good. What's the Velcro part for? Um, I guess like if I have anything to stick it onto, I was wondering about that one day. Yeah, normally I have to beg AJ to take a picture before school every day, but this year he has been asking me to take his pictures before school every day. I love that for us. Love that. I know she lives for a picture, honey. Okay, skin oiled up. I see you. Mm, that, that does good with your skin. I feel like once you find what works for your skin, you just gotta roll with it. Keep it. Keep it. it looks good. Nice. <laughs> you want some serious? Yeah. Okay. First things first, y'all. I just seen AJ off to school. My baby is a junior this year. I'd be lying if I said there wasn't any feels behind this chapter. <laughs> like, it's, it's definitely feelings behind every chapter, but junior year, y'all, it's a lot that comes with that, right? One of the big things I've already shared is that he's driving, y'all. He has a permit, and he goes and gets his license um, next week. So I love that he will have, you know, that freedom. And I just remember that feeling and just feeling like, okay, I'm somewhat grown now, or, you know, just another level of freedom to a certain extent. I mean, there will be rules and stipulations with his vehicle and he's well aware of that. And with this new age, baby, you still under my roof. As my parents would say, you're still under my roof. So, um, but it's just like, that's one of the things. And another thing is junior year is when you start to embark on looking into colleges, looking into scholarships. So that's another situation where it's like very, very real for me because it's like, Okay, like this is really like going by really fast. It really does fly. But I won't be that parent that gets in the way of his growth and his learnings and his process. Like I feel like sometimes we can be, I'm just speaking for myself to each his own, but I don't want to smother him. I want him to be able to learn and grow and evolve and I don't want to hinder anything in that. Like I don't want to take that from him. It plays a huge role in building your character and who you are are becoming, discovering who you are. And one thing I teach AJ is to never forget who you are in Christ. Like, find your confidence in God. No matter what nobody else says, what nobody else is doing, you figure out who AJ is, what AJ like, what AJ don't like. Like, stay true to who you are and find that in God. For so long, so stuck in my own way. So I'll enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made.
Okay guys, so I just finished cleaning out my refrigerator, y'all. It was so overdue. I cleaned out my refrigerator as well as my freezer. As y'all can see, my little energy drink slash poppy drink space is empty, y'all. I forgot to get my energy drinks for the gym next week. So I'm either gonna go tomorrow. As for the poppy drinks, I was told that the poppy drinks has a lawsuit out against them. Y'all, at this point, it is so hard to be healthy or find healthy items because Every time I think I have a routine going with the healthy items that I like, but here comes the recalls. So listen, I'm over that. Over here is like my little spin tray, which y'all have seen me show y'all these things like a thousand times, but we always have new watchers. So I always want to like show everything, but this is my little spin tray. This right here is my little spin tray. I get a lot of questions about this and I have shared that this came from Amazon and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's basically for your dressings and stuff like that. And it just you know, spins around where you can see things. I'm very bad about purchasing things. And then if I don't put things where I can see them, that's really a big part of my organization because it makes it easier for me to see the things that I'm out of or need. Down here, I have my veggies, things like that. I got my lettuce, tomatoes, cleaned all my veggies and fruit. Um, and here I just have like my breakfast stuff. Let's see. In my freezer, we got the breakfast bowls. AJ loves these for breakfast, y'all. Before he goes to school, he eat this. The sausage biscuits, or he's now, like I said, been eating Cheerios. And I got like my shrimp and salmon. And I got these protein waffles in here that I love by Kodiak. I've showed y'all that before. And over here, I just got my, veg I mean, my vegetables and then the fruits are back there. And then I try to keep my meats on this side. And Tony just brought to my attention that I forgot to put Kobe's doggy treats in the freezer. So... He's looking at me like, girl. But these are some frozen doggy treats that we got him from Aldi's today. And it says the flavors, two of them are original. Babe, I think he wants to go outside with you. <laughs> but it says two of these are original. And then it says two of these are cheese and bacon. I was like, ew, who wants cheese and bacon ice cream? But he is a dog. I had planned on giving him one to like here shortly, but... I didn't realize they were still sitting out over there on the counter, so they melted. I'm gonna put these back in the freezer and let them freeze for him. Another thing, y'all, so I've been following, I told y'all before, I've been following like this health uh, influencer, I guess is what you would call it. Like she promotes like good health and um, wellness and natural healing, things like that. And so she's always like at the grocery store doing these reels. Let me grab my phone so I can show y'all. And she basically will like hold up things and then she'll be like, you're eating this? And she's like, well, let me tell you what's really in the, pro what's in the ingredients for this product and why you shouldn't eat it. And y'all, she recently did one on the protein shake that I love. I think her name is Coach Row. Let me see, Coach, is it Coach Row? I think so. Rochelle? I think that's what it is. Rochelle, yep, Rochelle. Rochelle T. Parks, help people reverse chronic illnesses with God's food. So she's teaching us to choose healthier options. She said, I can get my protein and my caffeine. You, you, you know what else you can get? You can get cancer. Premier is not premier. Hey, 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 what's going on? Good people, what is going on? I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivated guys. Come on, premier protein. Okay, it says 30 grams of protein, 160 calories, only one gram of sugar, 25 vitamins and minerals. Caffeine equals one cup of coffee. Come on with the super lows. Come on, guys. You get some beaver budgets, maybe. Okay, because I see artificial flavors. I see natural flavors. Guys, this is not what you want. Premier is not premier, okay? 
So y'all know I have been drinking the Premier Protein. That's like my favorite go-to protein shake. Went to go, was literally out. I showed you on the last vlog, like I was very low. So I was officially out. So I purchased some more today. I didn't purchase the brand she recommended, but Tony had recommended the IS, I guess it's ISO 100. Um, so I got this brand and I got this flavor. And it's supposed to be a healthier option. When I look on the back, I don't see a lot of, like she was saying, the type of ingredients that she was saying, but it just says, Oh God, I do see it says natural and artificial flavor. <laughs> Cause she was saying a lot of times when you see that it's not always like what they're promoting. So I can't win y'all. I'm just like, you know what? It says one gram of sugar. Chow. This one has more fat. This one has lesser sodium. I don't know. I guess, I don't know y'all. We just gonna have to keep Keep on keeping on and do our best until we can figure it out, okay? Because we're about to use this protein powder. I'm not taking it back. So we're gonna use this and try this out. Okay, so I didn't realize how late it was. It's almost seven o'clock, so I decided to come on in here and start cooking. I'm making hamburger steaks and potatoes. Oh, I'm so mad I don't have no gloves, y'all. And when you try to cook with turkey meat, cooking burgers, it's really a hassle. I just have my bowl over here. I mixed in like uh, pepper. What else did I use? Garlic, I think, yeah, garlic. Um, I use some type of hamburger seasoning and I'm just gonna fry these. I got my red potatoes already boiled. I'm about to mix my potatoes up so it won't take me long. My goal is to be done by seven. That ain't gonna happen. Good to see, but while those are frying, I'm about to go ahead and get my potatoes. I don't know if I'm the only person, but I always take some of the skin off my red potatoes because I don't like a lot of skin like i don't even eat potato skins i don't like it but anyways i'm gonna have to go ahead and, huh i'm crazy because i don't eat potato skins <laughs> how much better i got 28 percent right, we're not gonna like that okay guys this is my husband's plate food turned out good he decided he wanted broccoli so we got some broccoli on the plate Potatoes and homemade gravy, homemade steak burgers with turkey meat. Mm hmm. This is for the first time the Downy Rinse and Refresh Odor Power. I've never used this before, and this does smell really good. Put these inside the washer. Cause you basically put that downy rinse in the place of the fabric softener and i do have downy fabric softener but i wanted to try the downy rinse to see how i like it but man those um okay y'all hopefully the, the dryer is not too loud but yeah y'all i tried the fabric scent boosters by downy i forget what they're called i forget the exact name for them but had a whole allergic reaction whole chest was like weapon up it was starting to go up on my neck so i went to the doctor and they had to give me a steroid because she was like this is definitely a reaction from a fabric softener like she knew right off the bat pretty much 
she was like, have you changed your like laundry detergents? Well, she didn't know it was a fabric softener, but she knew it had something to do with laundry detergents. And I was like, actually I have, I tried a new fabric softener. She was like, throw it away and wash everything that you've ever washed your clothes, I mean, and rewash all the clothes that you use that fabric softener on. Cause if not, every time you come in contact with it, you're gonna have a reaction. And she said, not only will you have a reaction, but uh, these type of reactions get worse every time. And she was not lying. Cause at first it was like my chest was just red. Then it started to get even redder. Then it started to whip up really bad. They're like super strong. It says light, but they're like super duper strong. Like you can smell them so good. My whole house, I could smell it from my laundry room. But I'm gonna try some other ones because I mean, these are good, the gain. Um, these are good, but I just don't feel like they're as strong as the downy. Like I just don't. So I'm gonna try those out. But yeah, I got the laundry going. Got my sheets in the dryer. Um, put my husband's work clothes in and I got our comforter because it's so big and my dryer never dries it I told you I have to keep putting it in there a couple of really a few times to get it dry <sighs> I do not care for this washer set I'm just not gonna lie to y'all I kind of hate that I got rid of my other washer and dryer for these because it just it don't do what my other ones did I'm trying to go off of aesthetic big mistake okay guys so I finished eating dinner and now I'm super sleepy super full which is why I didn't want to eat until I got done. Y'all, this scent right here and the Fabuloso uh, Multi-Purpose Cleaner, I have never tried this. I don't know why my camera keeps going dark, but I had never tried the watermelon scent. When I tell y'all, fire, it smells so good. Like even Tony was like, what is that? And I was like, it's the Watermelon Fabuloso. He was like, I would have never guessed that. From Fashion Nova, just have the rip at the knee. So, so cute, and they're kinda, well, I guess a little bit at the bottom. Not really, but maybe boot cut, I don't know. But so, am I really on 4%? Oh my God. I bought these like stone washed denim. Y'all, these are so cute. These are so cute. And then they have like a minor rip, not so much as an opening, but just, I mean, not rip, but the stress part right there. And these are cute too, and they're kind of the same at the bottom. Um, but we are mid-August and people are trying to force fall upon us. And I'm like, can we please, can y'all please let me have my summer? Please. Y'all know I'm a summer girl. Okay. Fall is not my top the season. Like I love the summer. Summer is my favorite season. And I just feel like the girlies are rushing through summer. Like they're already buying Halloween stuff and fall stuff. And I'm like, no, I like summer. But I do normally like mid-August try to go ahead and start buying stuff for the fall. Purchasing any more summer stuff because I have summer stuff that I haven't even worn. So I'm not purchasing any more summer stuff. I'm only going to be purchasing stuff for the fall moving forward. And I got to get these outfits out that I've not worn yet for the summertime. Especially like my all white stuff. Because I'm one of those people that don't really like to wear all white in the fall and stuff like that. So um yeah, I got to get that out, especially like shorts. I got like this cute skirt that I got from Fashion Nova. I bought it prior to going on vacation, but I never wore it. And then I also have some shorts. I have some pants, like just a bunch of white stuff. I wore the pants already, but I haven't worn the shorts or the skirt. So, which with things like that, you can, I can always put them up for next year because they're just, you know, a solid, simple color. But anyway, just finished cleaning up my closet, y'all, um, and straightening, straightening it up. So I'm about to mop my bathroom floor and then we're going to talk about the sermon. Um, and then me and my husband are going to do some, um, some monthly budgeting that we wanted to do, even though it's mid August, we're trying to go ahead and see what we got coming up for September as well. Um, cause we had a lot going on in August. So we was like, okay, now that we're back to our normal budgeting, well, my battery's about to die. Now that we're back to our normal schedule in September, um, let's go ahead and get ahead of that and the budgeting and how that's looking for September. So yeah, we're going to do that once I finish mopping the bathroom. Um, so yeah, I will hop back on here y'all so we can talk about the sermon and yeah. Woo. Your girl is tired y'all. Me and my husband just finished going over our budget for September. Um, woo. <laughs> um, and then we just finished putting our sheets on our bed. Our cover is air drying so we're gonna have to use one of our backup comforters so we'll go grab that but everything is done I'm out my bathroom I was gonna try to get that on the vlog as well but my battery died and I'm just 
tired of the battery dying on me today. So I was like, I gotta get this stuff done. Cause it is way past the time I thought I'd be done with everything else. 924, literally. I don't work so hard, my makeup done came off cause I had makeup, a little light makeup when I went to church this morning. But baby, I think I don't work that makeup off. Did I show y'all my nails? Let me make sure they don't look too dusty crusty cause I've definitely been cleaning. Oh, I got stuff all in my ring. Oh, I gotta clean my ring, y'all. Mm. Did I show y'all my nails? I got my nails done. Um, not in this vlog, but I got the square nails. Y'all know I have been telling y'all how I've been wanting to get the square nails and I never do. I got the square nails. And my nail tech is still out of town, so I let this dude named Steven do my nails this time. And I actually like his shaping in the square nails. They turned out really nice. Really, really nice. I love that. Y'all know pink is my favorite color, so chose to go with my pink nails. Um, anyways, everything is done. I was just gonna show y'all, like, I love going to bed with my house being clean. Like, it just makes me feel so good. Especially in the morning when I get up and I come to light my candles and stuff, I just feel so good. Let me show y'all. This is how the kitchen is looking. You know, I got my dishwasher going with the last load in there cleaning. Got all of that cleaned off. Everything is just clean. Uh, refilled my cookie jar, but that's all right. And today's sermon was about meekness. And he said, hopefully the dishwasher isn't too loud, y'all. I didn't think about that. But it says, meekness chooses compassion over condemnation to give another chance to get it right. It says we were supposed to present a gentle, considerate attitude towards people we work normally respond to with accusation and arrogance or pride. Um, and it gave the verse, um, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verses 24 through 25, and it says, leads others to repentance and moments of opposition. And it says, provides us an opportunity, oh, that's Galatians, provides us an opportunity to see our treatment of others as a preview of how we will be treated by others. And then James 1, 21, reminds us to remove sins that prevent the word of God from reaching our hearts. Um, it says, Jesus uses this space to prepare us to become better Christians and more devoted disciples in the days ahead. It says, the self-righteous will question Jesus more than submit to him. That was good. People who accuse Christ usually focus on his humanity because they misunderstand his divine authority. You will seek others' condemnation until you realize your own sinful condition. Basically show people compassion. Don't be so quick to judge others when we all fall short. We all sin. Um, so when we see believers falling short or not walking in what God has asked us to do, instead of, you know, condemning them or um, accusing them and just being rude, basically like forgive them like Jesus forgives us and pray for them and speak life into them, encourage them in, in God's word to overcome whatever it is that they keep falling short in. Like he said that we need to um, be supportive, like not turn our back, not judge, you know, don't be judgmental, but be supportive. So we have to speak with love. We have to be, you know, encouraging to our fellow believers and those walking in Christ and not judge them, not condemn dim them, not point the finger and remind them where they're falling short, but remind them of how they can do it. Remind them of, of God's grace um, and remind ourselves that we fall short too. And how many times God has forgiven us for the things that we weren't obedient in. So meekness. I was like, noted. Noted. It's an ongoing journey, y'all. I'm so sleepy. I look so tired. But like I said, and my lips are dry. <laughs> but like I shared earlier, it's a journey. It's a process. We just got to focus on our journey. Be real with ourselves. Do the work. Take accountability where we fall short. And seek God's will over ours. Trust his will. Trust his desires for us over our own. And we will be okay. We will be okay. I am about to end this vlog. 
take me another shower because <laughs> I've been cleaning and sweating all day. <laughs> I literally try to attack each room during the week, literally, to avoid it getting crazy. And I had been saying I was going to clean my refrigerator, y'all, all last week, and I did not do it. So had I done it, today would have went a whole lot differently. <laughs> like, we wouldn't have took so much time on that. But, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the vlog. Um, I will catch you all in the next vlog as always. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment below. Chat with your girl down in the comments. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye!